Hey, what's up, guys? Skizzo13 here. And today, this may seem kind of crazy. Hold on, let me just... Game volume. I've... I'm trying to turn you off here. Okay, zero. There, now you'll just be hearing BO1 music because it's awesome. It's BO1. And I'm Batman. You can probably tell by the title of this video. People would be like, what are you doing? This, case, this isn't gameplay. Well, guess what? Here's what I have to tell you. Yeah, just just stop. One second. I need to talk about this. Because it's something, personally, that absolutely kills me. So, um, I don't remember his name. Uh, let me just quickly grab my phone. And I'm going to see if I can pull up a news article about this. Um, let me just quickly. So, Trump. He fired missiles onto a place. Don't worry, it wasn't bad or anything like that. It wasn't bad, don't worry. Just don't worry, don't rage at me. Um, let me just search up Trump missiles. Let me just quickly search this up. Um... So he did a strike against Syria. Um, yada, yada. There were chemical attacks on Tuesday, I think it was, this week. Um, this is the f Friday, the day after the he shot the missiles, which it was last night he did it for me. Um, Trump shot missiles, and there was a chemical attack that killed, um... A ton, and I mean a ton of people, and one in the world. No, ads for Titanfall. <gasps> no, I repeat, there are ads for Titanfall. Prepare for Titanfall. Okay, I'm sorry I had to do that. Um, so, I'm just reading this. Bashar Assad, um, he did a chemical attack on his very own people, and he killed children. Now, anyone watching this, it really badly hurts me just to know that happened. Um, it kind of personally affects me just to know that even in modern day, that people will just launch missiles on their very own people, well, chemical attacks, on children even. It just hurts me a lot, because they were like babies who just died not knowing what the heck was going on. And that just hurts me. So then Trump, this is something, I, he did good and bad, in my opinion. He shot missiles at Syria, where the dude did the chemical attack. Um, the bad part of it, let me just start off, was that this could lead to war. And if war does happen, I don't think you're going to be seeing YouTube videos from me. Most likely. Most likely, I'm going to be hiding out in a nuclear bunker studying, studying how to make a quantum mechanic bomb and end this entire war. <laughs> oh, my, that would be hilarious to see. Like, it wouldn't be hilarious. It would be really brutal. But just think about this. Picture it in your head for one second. In COD, um, just imagine seeing um, someone being smushed into the ground from a bomb. Yeah, that's quantum mechanics. Or they keep looping through time, messing their body up, and then eventually they turn into goop. Hashtag Tracer doesn't work. Tracer, how could you? You failed me. Tracer, you do not follow logic and science. I'm sorry, Overwatch fans. Please, don't dislike the video. No, no. Speaking of, if you haven't subscribed already, you should totally do that. Okay, back to the actual news that we should be talking about here. I'm getting off topic. Um, Yada, yada, yada. Trump shot it. This could be um, Bashar Assad, so he is a six-year leader, um, yada, yada, yada. Um, there were six people killed by it in the airstrike. Um, yeah, and also it's part of Russia, which, oh my gosh, that is just, that terrifies me even more. Like, I am no joke, like, I know someone at my school. I, I wouldn't call us friends. I'd more I wouldn't call us acquaintances either. We're kinda in between there. We just both talk about science and he disagrees with me. I disagree with him. 
He likes um, Apple. I like Windows. We're not going to get into that argument because, oh my gosh, how much hate I would get for getting into the stupid argument about that. Um, we just disagree a lot. And the thing is, oh yeah, he supports Mother Russia. And, like, no joke. Um, just to say this, like, no offense to anyone, but he literally, on the day of 9-11, he said, I, I wonder what would happen if there was a repeat of 9-11. And that was just a horrifying thought, and he's like, and then after we all thought about it, he's like, I would love that to happen. And it was just, like, gruesome and brutal. And he's just like, really? Really, man? All right, I'm just going to stop hating on him. I'm not going to tell you his name, because then you'd go hate on him, and he does not deserve that. Well, he could, but I'm just not going to say it. Just, so, the, pro the good thing about this is I don't like people even coming close to hurting civilians. That really upsets me, aggros me half to death, and could literally just, like, burn me. I would literally... Here's me on my COD self, on my account for COD. Here's what would eventually happen. I would come in, noob tubing, flamethrowering, like the true noob I am. Not really, that was old me. Here's me back when BO1 first came out. I have my noob tube, then I have my other class with the flamethrower, and then my other class with the master key, on the M16, the M Enfield, and then I had my stinking, here, here's what I would do. I would get in a corner with the M60, and I would camp my face off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna turn that back to 52. It was at 90. Oh man, rip, rip headphone users. Um, rip you. You might have just gone deaf. That probably isn't a good sign on my part. So yeah, rip, rip. But I don't care. I don't. I really don't care. I'm happy and sad at the same moment. Because if war happens, there are just a lot of bad things, and that would destroy our nation, possibly the USA. And first of all, if it starts only with the USA and Russia. I'm moving to the UK. See y'all trash, possibly trash internet. Um, me and Ironbug, we're just gonna be camping in a corner in COD, laggy internet possibly, playing on the Xbox Scorpio or whatever the heck it's gonna be called, and our Nintendo Switches. No, what? Oh my gosh! Oh no, COD, don't fail me! Scream! Don't turn dark like that. Don't do it. I'm also gonna quick run into here. Yeah, noobs. Yeah. Uh, um. Quickly, I'm just gonna say this. I really badly, really, 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 really badly don't want any war. I, I highly doubt this, but if you're living in Russia, go tell your leader. No more, no more. We don't want war. I doubt you're in Russia, but you get the point here. It just would absolutely destroy the USA and probably get conquered by Russia. Not to say that would be a terrible thing. I just want to keep speaking English to say it. I don't want to be speaking Russian or Hispanic or anything. I actually like speaking English. Thank you very much. There are a whole lot of things that just sit down for maybe like... 10 minutes of your day. I know that's asking for a lot coming from a guy who has 96 subscribers at the moment. I know it sounds like a lot, but just please think one second what would happen. I really badly just want you to sit down and think for one second what would happen if this country got into war because it just hurts me. And then think about the children and the innocent people that just were killed and they didn't even know. They just didn't even know. Like, he didn't tell them, oh, you're going to die later today. Nothing like that. Just gas came in, wiped them all out. They died. Kind of brutal. Almost, it's a lot, it's almost as brutal as, um, 
mustard gas from World War One. So, if you enjoyed this content, remember to leave a like, subscribe down below. Um, you're gonna regret. We're gonna start a war if you don't press that red subscribe button. Haha, <laughs> not really, just saying. But you get the point. Trump fired his missiles. Well, okay, let me put this in sequence. David their chemical war thingy that against the people and killed all the innocent people and children and stuff women children everyone like that and then trump launched his like millions of missiles and said nope and killed five people it didn't say they were innocent so holding holding on that just saying um i'm just gonna i don't want war that's all I'm saying. So see you guys another day, another time.